Welcome to this video on aligning images in Microsoft PowerPoint. So at some point we all may need to create a PowerPoint. We want to create a nice visual one with images aligned in the right place so things don't look wonky um, and all those other really useful technical terms. So there's a few things you can do within PowerPoint to help you out and get, make sure your images or any other boxes or shapes or anything that you add into PowerPoint are nicely aligned. There's some useful things that PowerPoint will do itself when you're moving things around and there's also then some functions that will help you out with different alignment opportunities. So I've got three images on there. They're of Central Park in New York. So it's nice and interesting to work with. And they're a little bit higgledy-piggledy. Again, another really useful technical term. And I wanna just get them aligned into the same to the same height. And I also want to make sure they are spaced out correctly. And then I can move them all into the middle and stuff. So when you click on an image or a box or anything in PowerPoint and you start to move it around, you will start to see some guidelines coming in, but sometimes it can be a little bit fiddly. And if you've got a lot of content on your slide, we all know you shouldn't put too much on there. But if you're using PowerPoint to create a document rather than a presentation, you might have quite a bit of content on there and it might be getting a little bit confused as to what you want to align it to. So best options here are to select all of your items. Now you can control uh, or shift and select or you can just click and drag over all of them to select all those different options. Just remember if you've got a word a text box or something, then you have to select the whole text box, not just the text that's in it. If you're not selecting that box, then you've not covered it. You're missing some of it. So when you do select them all, you've got some options in the toolbar at the top, and I'm going to go to picture format. And then you have just to the right of the middle, you've got some alignment opportunities. So if I click on the drop down there, you can see you can align it to the left. You can align them center and you can align them to the right. Now it depends if you've got horizontal or vertical images. I've got horizontal, so aligning to that center is not going to be very useful. They'll all be on top of each other. But if you had images or any content going down vertically, then that might be a useful option. You can align them to the left, you can align them to right, you can, and then you can align them. You see the vertical options are top, middle, or bottom. So if I align them to the top, I'm gonna have to just undo what I've done on that previous alignment. If I align them to the top, you can see it's picked the one that is the most, the highest, and it's moved the other two up to be into that same place. So just remember that it will pick the one that's closest to either the top, the left, or the right. So now they're all absolutely aligned to the right place without me having to fiddle and mess around moving them around. Like I said, you can also space them out so you can distribute them and make sure they've got the same spacing against uh, in between each of the images or the boxes that you're gonna add in. And again, you've got distribute horizontally and distribute virtual ver vertically couldn't say that word then. And you can see the images will give you a bit of an idea if you're not quite sure, if you forget sometimes horizontal and vertical, I absolutely do that. So it's the horizontal one I'm after. So if I click that, it probably not moved it a lot, but it's just made sure 100% that my images are now distributed correctly and I've got the same spacing in between both of them. So really, really easy to work with. And what I can do now, because I'm selected on all of them, I can just move them around my PowerPoint, make sure I'm happy with that placement. And if I click away, I know absolutely 100% I've got the spacing right in between my images and they are aligned at the right level. So have a go at that one, have a play around with your images, use some of the functions when you click on it in the picture format to really help you out with that rather than trying to do it manually because it's much quicker to do it this way and if you get into a habit your powerpoint will look a lot cleaner please do like and subscribe and let me know what other videos you would like to see on this channel